World War III Kim Jong-un in trouble as North Korea struggle to develop new missile. The Hermit Kingdom has hit a roadblock in developing a reliable atmospheric re-energy technology that would allow their missile to return from the Earth's orbit, South Korea's National Intelligence Service, NIS, revealed in a report. The NIS met with the South Korean National Assembly's Intelligence Committee behind closed doors on Thursday. A parliamentary source said, the NIS said, that the North had recently carried out a few missile engine tests, but it is still not at a stage where it can complete its ICBM development. The report claims it is not the fault of North Korean engineering, but rather evidence of how difficult re-entry vehicles are to build. The warheads must be protected from temperatures of 12,600 degrees Fahrenheit and speeds of 18,500 miles per hour. North Korea has not launched a missile since September, however, the communist state undertook two high-profile tests of the Hwasong-14 ICBM earlier this year. Both of these tests were a success, with the second one reportedly demonstrating that the Hwasong-14 could potentially hit the U.S. If North Korea were to reach the U.S. mainland and ignite World War III, the Hwasong-14 would, however, need an effective re-entry vehicle. The Hwasong-14 made its way into space, although the missile broke down into pieces when it returned to Earth. The NIS said that not only do re-entry vehicles take considerable technical know-how to build, but they also require a variety of specialized and expensive components. Recent U.S. military pressure, such as the deployment of strategic bombers, is said to have a major contributor to the Hermit Kingdom's indecision to test another missile. But the NIS warned it is only a matter of time before Kim Jong-un's communist state launch another missile. The dictatorship he is believed to be developing new terrifying weapons as World War III threats continue to increase. The North has ignored U.S. threats to halt its reckless military development, with satellite photos revealing despot Kim Jong-un's latest war toys. Photos show North Korea is constructing powerful new submarines capable of firing deadly ballistic missiles. North Korea watchdog 38 North warned work has been underway at the Sinpo South shipyard for a number of weeks. They said the hermit state is on an aggressive building schedule and determined to deploy its first operational ballistic missile sub. Meanwhile, Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson earlier this week ordered the immediate suspension of foreign aid to North Korea in a major victory for the Daily Express. He acted after public outrage over Britain's bloated overseas commitments and the escalation of the basket case regime's nuclear weapons program. The UK has funneled pounds 4 million of official development assistance to the communist state since 2010, during a period when it has ratcheted up tensions with the West. Official documents show that last year the country, run by dictator Kim Jong-un and labeled a pariah by the international community, received £216,000 in handouts from Britain. The Foreign Office said the Foreign Secretary has instructed officials to discontinue funding for all aid projects in North Korea. We remain resolute in our condemnation of the North Korean regime's human rights abuses.